the rebuild of the G8 has begun. And what I'm doing now is I got to take this caliper off so that I can replace the front knuckle. knuckle. And you see where that, where the piece broke at where the tie rod was. So here I am now trying to remove this front caliper. All right, just got the caliper off and I'm getting ready to pull the actual rotor off. And slide that up under there. And got that off. So now I'm gonna go ahead and start breaking loose all these little tie rods and control arm fittings and stuff and get that off all right i got the whole hub or spindle off you can see right there where it was broke from where the steering rod goes i got all that off so i'm about to put the new one on make sure that they're exactly alike and then i'm gonna slide that on So they are just alike. This one has the wire on it. I can pull this off. Yeah, let's go ahead and get it on. All right, I got everything back together. Got the knuckle on. Got the tie rod on right here. That's the part that was broke off right here. So I got the new one back on. And just getting ready to put the tire back on. And I'm going to let it down in the front once I get the tire back on. Got the radiator got the radiator installed. Um, I didn't get it on video. But it's in there. It required me to use both of my hands and do all kind of stuff. So I didn't get a chance to record it. So got that installed. And what I'm working on now... Yes. This is the bar that bent. Um, I showed it to you in another video, I think. But this bar right here, which is the rear cable link, that bent. And unfortunately, in order to take it out, I gotta take that bolt out right here. And that bolt won't come out because it gets stuck right there, which is the fuel tank. <laughs> So I'm going to have to drop the fuel tank in order to take that bolt out. So that's what I'm planning to do next. All right, we're working on the G8 tonight. And I just replaced this tow link. So we got that. I had to lower the cradle and also lower the gas tank just to get that in because that bolt up there wouldn't come out because of the gas tank. So I had to lower the cradle and lower the gas tank in order to get enough room to pull the boat out. So we got that all lined up. Also, in order to lower the gas tank in the cradle, we had to take the dry shaft out and the exhaust off. So the exhaust is off now. You can look up under there. We got that out of the way. And here's the dry shaft. We needed to change the carrier bearing in the dry shaft anyway while it was out because it was vibrating on takeoff and like a knocking noise so we took the old carrier bearing off bearing off and we put the new one on which is right here so it wasn't that bad to do it so we put that on and i'm gonna set this down so it don't fall so we put the new carrier bearing on right there and we got that 
Um, just like I said, the old one wasn't that bad. Um, it wasn't that bad to come off. So we knocked it off with the chisel and we got it going. So we're getting everything together for the G8. We have the, the front bumper is still, um, we're going to pick it up in the morning. Um, is at the FedEx terminal now. So we're going to pick up that in the morning. We'll probably throw the dry shaft in tomorrow. Um, put the exhaust back on, put the wheel back on. And depending on my time frame, I might go and pick up the paint so I can go ahead and paint the front bumper. So, but other than that, everything's moving along good with the, the G8. So we should have this wrapped up, hopefully, by this weekend. Just got back from picking up the the front bumper for the G8. This is the brand new bumper from GM Parts Direct. So we're gonna get that put on. Um, I just gotta primer it and spray paint it before before I get it put on. Okay, I took the front bumper out of the box. I'm getting ready to, to primer it. Just want to show a picture of how it looks. And once I get it all wiped down and everything and set up to get ready to spray it, I'll let you see it. But like I said before, it's a brand new bumper directly from GM Parts. All right, just wiped it down to get any oils off of it. And I'm not even sure if I'm supposed to prime it or not, but. All right, just finished primer in the bumper. Put a couple of coats on it. As you can see, came out pretty good. And with primer, I mean, you can't be really, no such thing as pretty good. It's just a good thick coat on it. And that's what I have, a good thick coat on it. So. And I'm going to let that sit on there for probably about 24 hours. I probably won't spray it until tomorrow, tomorrow night. So. And you see I'm constructing my, my little paint booth. So. But. Just got that down, um, the primer coat down, and I'm probably gonna spray it tomorrow. All right, I just got finished spraying the first coat. This is just the base coat, so I gotta go over it again. You can see you got some light spots in it, because I didn't want to get too heavy with it because I still have more coats to go over it. So, but that's the first coat. And I redid my bump, my um, my little booth. Um, as you can see, I got a little bit more sealed off. Some my exhaust fans. There we go. So I still got a second coat, possibly a third coat to put on it. And then I'm going to put the clear on it. All right, just finished putting down a third coat, a third base coat. And I'm getting, getting ready to put the clear on it right now. So. Getting ready to apply the clear to it. Okay, I applied the first coat of clear. And 
it's just a thin coat. So I'm gonna apply a little bit thicker coat in a few. All right, just finished up the second coat of clear. As you can see, she's shining. And I don't think I need to do a third coat. Look like it's pretty, pretty glossy and even throughout it. Got some little bumps in it that I can probably buff out. Okay, I got everything down. It's dry now. So you can see how it looks. Still looks the same. Whether it's dry or not, it's still shiny. The grills and everything else come in. We'll put those in and get it on the car hopefully by this weekend. All right, just finished putting the front bumper cover on. We still got to get the grill right there. Um, it's ordered and it's on its way here, but we got to get that. And the rims are on their way. Um, we got two of the rims in already. We're just waiting on the the other two and should be good to go from there okay we got the badge on and just want to see it in, in a little bit better light so you can see how I actually matched up the paint pretty good I might buff out the hood and stuff in front fender so it blends blends better all right the driver's side grill came in and i just sprayed it just to it's a brand new grill but i sprayed it black just to match the other one that i painted and i'm gonna get this on and try to get everything together okay just put the grill in so we got the grill in and i don't know if i showed you before but you see we got the splitter on at the bottom so got that done all four wheels for the g8 are in now i'm gonna open up and show you the uh, only thing waiting for now is the two front tires to come in and they should be here um friday which is in three days so take it completely out I'll just take the stuff to show you all right that's the wheel and it's just the ZL1 replica wheels and these are the wheels that he wanted from the start so
Just got the wheels back for the G8 and get ready to mount them on. Put the wheels on a G8 last night and it looks good. So the G8 is now complete again and I can move back to the GTO.